Hi, this is Gary Boss from Audio Technica, and I'm here with Pro Audio Land, and I'm going to explain a little bit about microphones. And right now, we're going to learn about condenser microphones, or really kind of what makes a condenser microphone tick, how it works. Essentially, condenser microphones, like dynamics and all these other things, are transducers. And a transducer is anything that converts one form of energy into another. And in this case, with the microphones, we're taking mechanical energy, your voice, the sound waves, and converting it into electrical energy. Now, condenser mics, I have one right here as an example do it a little bit differently. Essentially what we have working here is a structure where we have a very thin material and sometimes these are as thin as two microns thick um, that is stretched over what we call a back plate. Now to make this work that material has to be conductive and uh, in a lot of cases we'll sputter them with gold or other conductive materials. Then we have this back plate and then one of these needs a charge. We need some kind of electrical charge. Now, in a lot of the modern microphones, this charge comes in the form of a fixed charge, and these are what's called fixed condensers. So they place a fixed charge on the back plate, the material behind the diaphragm, okay? Or in the higher end microphones, many times, it's what they call externally polarized. And that's when you use phantom power from your mixer that actually charges that plate. But both operate essentially the same way. So essentially, there is a... Uh, property where if you take this electrical film, this uh, this uh, conductive film over this electrically charged plate and you begin to move the difference in that gap, it generates a very minute trace voltage. So that's called a capacitor or capacitance circuit. Uh, it's kind of a physics thing, but it works and we know it works because I'm holding the proof of it right here. So these minute changes uh, come down here and then we have a little amplifier section within the microphone because they are so small that we can't actually travel those down the cable to your electronics. So all of these condenser microphones have a FET amplifier in them that convert the electronics and then we can send it down the cable right to your mixer uh, for your recording or your live sound or whatever you want to do. But essentially that's a condenser microphone. You might want to stay tuned because in the next section I'm actually going to talk about some of the differences between dynamic and condenser uh, elements and what what you'd use what for and why one's better than the other. Thanks.